Hi everybody, welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Today I want to talk about what to feed your bacteria. What do bacteria need to grow and how can we give it to them? Temperature. Normal bacteria are happy between room temperature and body temperature, so between 20 and 37 degrees. Sure, there are some super freako bacteria that can survive at 100 C, but you won't find them in a normal lab. pH. Normal bacteria like a neutral pH around 7. There's plenty of examples of bacteria that prefer slightly acidic or slightly basic condition, and there's extremophiles that can leave in, live in concentrated sulfuric acid. Uh, in general, every microbe prefers a specific range of pH values, and we keep that in mind when preparing media for them. Oxygen. Some bacteria need it, and some don't. In some cases, it's even toxic. However, most of the commonly used bacteria appreciate oxygen, and they grow better when they're well mixed with air. Carbon serves two purposes. First, it's the backbone for most of the molecules that make up a cell. And second, it's an energy source. Glucose, for example, is a high-energy sugar that many bacteria can use both to build the cell and power the cell. Nitrogen is a big part of many biological molecules, in particular proteins. Uh, cells might get this from ammonia or nitrate or the amino acids that we add to their food. Basic elements. Many other elements are needed in small, in small quantities to make up the molecules of life. I'm talking about sulfur, magnesium, iron, and so on. Bacteria can't make them out of thin air, so they have to get them from us. Salt. Most bacteria like a little salt in their food. Salt ions are a part of many biological processes, uh, and adding salt makes it easier for them to maintain their internal osmotic balance. Not too salty, not too watery. Growth factors. Some bacteria, given the basic building blocks, can make everything they need to grow for themselves, and others can't. Uh, so in this case, we need to feed them the specific things that they need. So that might be vitamins, amino acids, or other micronutrients. Temperature, pH, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, salt, other stuff. It seems like a long list, but actually it's not too, too hard to find things that meet these conditions. Just a glass of milk, for example, if you leave it in a warm place, has everything that you need to grow a bacterium like uh, lactobacillus. So how do we actually mix up media for microbes? How do we know if they'll grow on the food that we give them? So in practice, that answer was usually worked out a long time ago by trial and error. For, for most bacteria that you want to grow, some European microbiologist 50 years ago figured out a standard recipe that's cheap and reliable. The most famous of these is probably LB, Luria Britanni medium, which is beloved by E. coli and many other bacteria. In the notes for this video, we'll present a recipe for LB and talk about why it's got all the delicious nutrients that bacteria crave. Until next time, happy culturing. Thank <laughs> you.